We well, got yeah, Tom. We're in the parking lot of the old Shopco building just off of Regal here. And I'm no fire expert, but I think it's pretty safe to say this fire is now out. Crews are still on scene, though. I'll step to the side while my photographer Dave zooms in just to give you a look at what we are seeing now. Now, fire crews say this fire started uh, earlier this afternoon. It quickly changed directions earlier. And that had firefighters playing defense at one point. Now, nobody was hurt. That's the very important thing to note. And no buildings were destroyed, but an apartment building uh, that you might have seen in the distance there did receive some heat damage. Um, we do have some video to show you from earlier this afternoon when the fire first broke out. As you can see, some trees were catching fire, so obviously that was quite the concern for authorities. It was before 1.45 when this all started. Now, it's not entirely clear what caused this fire, but crews say it began in a wooded area south of the old Shopco building and north of Target. Traffic didn't appear to be impacted too much while this was going on. Now, crews were staging here in the Shopco parking lot, and as we mentioned, no buildings were lost. However, there was some heat damage to some nearby apartments, and we saw that for ourselves up close and personal. Pretty scary for folks living in that complex. Now, amazingly, people in that apartment building told us the inside of their homes are okay. It was just the exterior of the building that was damaged. At one point, though, fi uh, excuse me, winds caused the fire to shift and flames came close to a fire engine. And fire crews tell us that heat damaged some of their hoses, causing them to burst. Again, those crews are RK okay. Excuse me, nobody else was hurt. But for residents living yeah. in that apartment complex, that it was scary. Get home, get my family, get everybody upstairs out. But since they wouldn't let me in, I could just pray that everybody got out in time. Some people at those apartments east of the old Chopco building told us there was another brush fire in this area a few years ago. Again, we don't know what caused this fire for sure, but residents told us they've seen what appear to be transients in this wooded area before. Now, back out here live, uh, a lot of crews have left really within the last half hour or so. Things have really calmed down, but again, still some uh, crews, some uh, Washington Department of National Natural Resources crews on scene here as well, just doing some cleanup work, it appears. It's not clear how much longer they will be on scene, though. For now, reporting live on the South Hill, Taylor Vido. Graham T News.